Let's talk about programming blood pressures on the vital sim mannequin. I've turned on my pain, main power box. Now I turn on the handheld device and I get a default of a blood pressure 120 over 80. So right now my students could put their stethoscope on the mannequin and practice hearing that blood pressure. Remember again, we have to calibrate the blood pressure cuff first as shown in previous videos and also we can only use the blood pressure cuff that comes with the mannequin from the manufacturer. So let's say we want to change the blood pressure now. Go to your handheld device. There's more than one way to change any of these settings but we use the scroll keys in this example to scroll down to the blood pressure until it's highlighted and then we have two ways at least of doing this. We can simply use the plus minus keys that have BP in the middle of them and it, it increases and decreases to defaulted amounts. For example, if I press the plus key you can see it going up in those increments and the minus key it goes down in those increments. But let's say I want to be more specific. Maybe I want to match my blood pressure to a specific case study. So while it's highlighted, press the OK key and put in whatever value you want with the number pad. Say the case says 95 systolic, 95, then move across to diastolic. Maybe we want it over 45. Maybe the volume's too low or too high. So if you want to raise the volume, go to this plus up to 7. You can also affect the gap in the pulse, but we'll just keep it simple right now. We like that. So we press OK, it comes back to our default menu, and we've got 97 over 45 at a volume of 7. And that's how you change your blood pressure. That concludes a blood pressure demonstration for the Vital Sims mannequin. Once you have the blood pressure set to where you want it, your students will take readings just as though they were taking blood pressures on a patient. That is, they will inflate the cuff, landmark their stethoscope, and listen for the blood pressure.